Hi, I'm Ryan, also known as the PC Man 911 or just PC Man 911. Now we are going to install and level the bed for our Voxel Labs Proxima resin printer. All you need is a blank piece of like printer paper and the Allen wrench that came with the printer. Hopefully your printer comes with one. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the lid off. We're gonna undo the screws completely so that your paper can go on there. So you wanna undo your resin vat screws. Remove your resin vat. I'm gonna go ahead and set a piece of paper up on here so that it protects the LCD screen I am taking, you need to loosen the two screws here that allow this to move freely, but you don't want to loosen them so much that they fall out or this falls off. And now I'm setting that on here and I'm going to tighten tighten the knob to hold the build plate onto the Z-axis lift. Then we'll turn it on. Now I'm gonna go into tools and manual, and we're gonna hit the home button. And it's gonna move around and move up and down and move until it feels like it's in the home position. And then we're gonna tighten our Allen wrench screws back down so that we're on the home position. Now you can move this up a tiny bit more, but you don't want it too far or it's going to, your uh, prints will not bond to the build plate. So we're tightening this down. And then we can go in here and go back and we can tell it now, we want to tell it to set zero. And then we're going to confirm the set zero. And I'm going to go ahead and go back now. And I'm going to raise, raise it up. That way I can take my piece of paper out. I'm going to go ahead and raise it up several. So that way we can go ahead and put our resin vat back in to get ready for our first print. Now I'm gonna remove the protective film from our, from our vat. I'm gonna take our microfiber cloth that I spoke of earlier and wipe the screen down. And then I'm gonna put the vat back in. I'm gonna continue to raise this up so we have plenty of room to pour in our resin as we get ready to print. I'm just putting my vat screws back in. That's one thing I've noticed I really like about this Voxel Labs resin printer is everything's pretty much thumb screws, so it's fairly easy to install and set things the way they should be. I'm gonna push that up one more time. 
and we're near the top there. Now that that's all installed, I'm gonna go ahead and test the home button one more time. Make sure this runs up and down good. Get rid of my paper and the film. And there we have it. We've tested and went down into the home position. We're gonna have this raised back up so that we can put some resin in. We're gonna to prepare to do our first print. As you can see, I've got gloves on, I've got a mask on, and my eye protection, which keeps fogging up, but I'm gonna stick the resin bed back into its slot, tighten it down. And then we're gonna pour our resin in. Again, this doesn't have the greatest smell and you don't wanna get it on your hands. Okay, now we're gonna to go to print. And I'm getting ready to print the 3D bench. I'm gonna select it and tell it to go. I'm gonna install the cover. And now our printer will start the printing process. Okay, here's our final print. We did a benching. It took about three hours to do. We washed it in the alcohol bath for a little while and then let it cure in the UV lamp and turntable station for about 10 minutes. You can see where I scuffed it up some trying to get it off the build plate using the metal scraper. But other than that, it looks detailed. And again, this is the on the Voxel Labs Proxima 2K resin 3D printer.